All right, so it is like 11.20. Um, I got my blood work done, and now I'm just going to wrap gifts and get that stuff taken care of. And I'm just going to put on a Christmas movie that I've watched like every year since I was a little kid. So I just decided let's keep the tradition alive and watch this Christmas movie. So that's what I'm going to do now and wrap gifts. And um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. So we're gonna wrap up tonight's vlog. Here are all of the wrapped gifts. Oh, I can't. Am I even showing them? All right, and all the wrapped gifts. Finish that. Um, there's only one thing I didn't get to wrap. It is the big gift I got from my grandparents. <clears throat> I don't know if I got the wrong photo. I I'm going to have my mom help me look at it because it's just not fitting in the thing right, and I can't figure it out. So that's something I've got to figure out. First of all, I've got to give a shout out. I'm pretty sure these are from Kaylee. She's been telling me she's been trying to send me coupons in the mail for a long time. And she had to put multiple stamps on it, which you totally didn't have to do that. But I do appreciate you, um, you know, making that offer. She sent me some coupons um, for stuff that she isn't planning on using and wondered if I could use. 
And a lot of them I definitely can use. So I'm, I am excited about that. She was so kind and sent these to my P.O. box. Um, I'll just show you the one she sent. These Florida crystals. Um, even if I can't, some other people in my family might like them. Not all of it I can use, but there was a couple in here I was really excited about. Another trivia. A dollar on Nelly's free range eggs. Um, lots of trivia. So delicious ice cream. I can, I can look and see if I can use that. This is better than mine. This is a dollar off of three avocados. Mine is only 75 cents off of three avocados. So I'll definitely put Kaylee's coupons to use on that. A dollar on goodbye gluten bread. Never heard of that. I'll have to look into it. Maybe I can eat it. As a 55 cents on Simply Sherry's gluten-free cookies and pasta. Maybe. I, I'll definitely keep that in my binder though because I bet I could use it. Okay, and then Kaylee, you have no idea how much I'm thrilled over these coupons. You must really pay attention. Laura's Lean Beef. I love Laura's. We buy Laura's all the time. So I am, and I reached my limit on how many coupons let me print. So I'm going to put these to use. I'm so excited. Thank you, Kaylee, for that. You have no idea how much those are going to help for the Laura's especially. Just that and the avocados and stuff. I'm going to look into some of the other ones and see what ingredients are in them. So thank you so much, Kaylee, for this humongous stack of coupons. I sincerely appreciate you taking the time to send them to me. All right, we went to my grandma's Christmas gathering tonight that she had at her house, and it was a really nice time to get to visit with some family. We don't see all that often, and just to see her. She loved her gifts, which is nice. Um, she really was happy about it. Here's the annoying thing. I got that Zim's Max Freeze, and then I lost it, and that's the one thing she, that's one of the things she asked for, so I'm really upset. I told her I'm going to look around again, but she was so overwhelmed. She's like, she kept saying, you did way too much, because I just... I, I did go a little, I'm not bragging, I did go a little crazy this year buying stuff, but it's fun to do that. When you first get your job, like, you just, and you don't have a bunch of bills, which bills are going to start coming, especially once I tell you the news today. Um, but, um, yeah, awesome. So, I want to do it, though, since I haven't had a lot of bills, I want to just do a nice Christmas for everyone, so that's always fun. And I said I had some news. I got my driver's license. So, so excited. I got my driver's license today. I couldn't even believe that I got it. I was so shocked. Um, I lightly tapped the cone, but I didn't knock it over. So that must have been enough for him to pass me. I got the nice guy. I was really happy about that. I was nervous I was going to get that on one of the grouchy people. I got the nice guy I had last time. So that went really, really good. I passed the maneuverability test. So I, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I passed and I got my license so I can drive now by myself. Now, like I said, I'm not like any big hurry around driving by myself, but you know, I will eventually. I'm like, if I want to run up to Kroger and get the ad or want to go to Walmart or something, I can do it by myself. My family's been great about taking me to the store whenever I needed to go, but now, if, let's say I want to go to Rite Aid or CVS on a Sunday after church, I can do it without having my parents do it because. I don't know, especially with Noah, um, it's been hard with him because his sugar, he's got diabetes. It's been, today's been awful about that. It's been all over the place. It's literally went from 39, which is like near death. So we had to do the precautions for that to 550. So yeah, it's been all over the place and they're trying to work with the vets and it's just hard to come up with answers, but that's, anyways, that, that's what I'm saying. So it'll be nice. If I have a license, I don't have to put the pressure on them to take me places for YouTube or even just for couponing. I can go do it on my own without having to ask anybody. So I'm really excited for that. So yeah, but I got my license. Now, that being said, I am going to, I I know my parents, they're not requiring it, but I'm going to give an additional amount of money each month to pay my portion of the car insurance. I just think that's the right thing to do. I don't want to, my parents are already being gracious enough to let me use that car it's going to be shared, but still, I'm going to have it most of the time. So I'm going to pay the insurance on my share of the insurance. I'm not going to ask, um, ask them to do that. That's not fair. So I'm going to pay my share of the insurance. Um, and gas money, you know, if I'm out and the tank needs filled up, I'll fill it up. That's my, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be, so those are additional bills that are going to come across because I'm driving now. And like I said, my parents didn't require that. 
I'm just going to do it because I feel like in my heart that's the right thing to do and it's a good thing to start getting responsibility early and I don't want to be a moocher. I just don't. That's not who I want to be. So I'm going to start doing that. So that's a new bill that I'm going to start having each month. So yeah. So that's what, what I said. Will I ever probably get to do this big of a Christmas again? I don't know. I'm going to still try to save for it to see where I am throughout the year again. So we'll find that out. So I'm going to show you the gifts that uh, my grandma got. It was really, I really appreciated a lot of these gifts she got, um, got for me. First up, she just got me this nice, soft, really, really fluffy blanket at Walmart. I know it's from Walmart. Yeah, it says Walmart right on it. Really nice blanket. I'm excited to use that. I guess it has bears on it. I don't know. She picked out a different, she got this for everyone, a different thing. So she must have thought that bears were my thing. But I love that. That's really soft. <coughs> she went ahead and got me this dog calendar. So that's nice. I won't buy a calendar this year. She got me golden retrievers. She went ahead and got me this stocking. And I'm covering up the last name because... Or it has the last the initial of my last name. And I don't want anyone finding that out somehow. No offense. But there are some weird people on the internet. So I try to take precautions. I know a lot of you aren't that way. But I just I don't feel comfortable sharing my last name. She did it filled with candy canes. I can't eat the candy canes. She didn't know someone can eat them. Um, oh, I wish I could eat these. But anyways, it was a really nice stocking. So I'll hang that up in my room. It's a little one. That'll be a nice decoration. Um, what else did she do? She, why don't I grab just some random, I don't know. She knows I coupon and I gave her a bunch of stuff like this. But she just decided to, I don't know. She got me this body wash body wash. I mean, I'll use it. She got me, I like these. She got me this, um, these nice little pens. So I'm excited to use those. I love roller pens. Those are nice. So I, I appreciate that. She got me this foot cream. I've never had athlete's foot. So I'm not really sure why she, I don't know if this is like a gag gift or if she was just, it says cortisone. No, chlorine. I don't know. She has got this for me. I don't really plan on needing it, but whatever. I mean, I guess I'm prepared if I do. She grabs me a little car um, air freshener, which that's nice. Yankee candles, too. That's really nice. So when I'm out driving around, I can have the car smell good. Um, she grabbed me a men's shaving cream. A little deodorant. And I know we don't need any of this stuff, but... I'll take it. I mean, it's nice that we're to go through the trouble of getting it. She got me these razors. Hmm, don't know about... They actually look pretty nice. Honestly. Um, some of the stuff's from the White Elephant Gift Exchange. I'll have to, like, talk about that. She got me this really, really, really bright... Because all of the guys in the family got this. Flashlight. 500 lumen. So that's that's big. Um, she was really nice and gave us. She gave us $50 and a $2 bill as well. Um, she always gives us $2 bills. She also threw in a lottery ticket. So I'll have to cash that and see if I can get any money. Maybe I'll get rich. I don't know. Um, she also went ahead, and this was something really special for her. No, it was really, she, all right, and this, I don't know necessarily how much I use this, but I'm definitely going to keep it forever. She got a pocket watch, and I don't actually carry a watch, if you want to know the truth. I use my phone. However, the fact that she bought it for me is really special, so I'm definitely going to keep this in my room, kept out. Just as a memory and everything. It was really nice of her to go to the travel to get me that. So I, I will definitely treasure that gift. Even if I don't go around wearing it all the time. I'm definitely going to treasure that. Um, she gave me this mug. Oh wait. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I won these in the gift exchange. I'll show you. Oh. Oh wait. This wasn't in the gift exchange. She also got me a $15 iTunes card. So that was nice of her. Honestly. It really was. Right, we also did a white elephant. Oh, and then for some reason, $2 cash. I don't know where that came from. She did a white elephant gift exchange thing. Um, where it's not a white elephant. Basically what it is, is she gets out a deck of cards. And we all get a card. And then she 
like gets out a deck and just goes through listing up the cards. And if she draws the card you have, you get to pick a prize at the table. So once I got these generic pop tarts, I oh my gosh, I'd love to eat these, but I can't. There are way too many ingredients in them for me. So we'll see who else I can get them. I can use them in the rest of the stuff. She got us a kitchen towel. She got me this hat, which will go good with the gloves. And she got me this tool kit. I don't know where this came from. Oh, this she gave me. It's tool set. I don't do a whole lot of handyman stuff, but maybe I should try. Um, <laughs> get more into it. And she also gave me this holiday mug. See, I really, really had a great time at my grandma's Christmas. Got some nice gifts. Always nice to see her. She was really excited about her gifts. Um, so I enjoyed that. Is it overall? Pretty good day getting my license. I wrapped gifts, which is pretty much done besides the one huge gift that's for my parents or my own grandparents. I think I'm done Christmas shopping. There's one other thing I really wanted to get my mom, but our Walmart here doesn't have it. And the only way I don't even know if the other Walmart in our town would have it. I know the Walmart in the next town over has it, but it's a very small item, so it's not worth driving, you know, the 40 minutes to the next town's Walmart. So I am bummed about it because I'd love to got her that for Christmas. But I, you know, I've honestly got her a ton. I got my mom a ton of stuff. So it's all good. So um, yeah, that is Christmas party at my grandma's. It was a great day getting my license. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I don't, I honestly don't have the slightest clue what's going on tomorrow. Um, I know I got a meal plan for the next week. The meal prepping saved my sanity this week, honestly. And when I don't meal prep, I'm like out of control. Making quick decisions probably aren't good. Like today, I had nothing prepped. So I ended up going to Kroger and grabbing a simple truth rotisserie chicken, which was awesome. I really enjoyed the taste. I'm a bit nervous if it's going to work. I mean, it's worked before, so... I don't know. I talked about that on Vlogmas Day 2, being scared of food. And especially since the flare-ups have really honestly happened again within the last couple of weeks. I'm more scared of food now than ever. So, I'm, you know, I have to be so careful. I'm so scared about Christmas and Christmas Eve. But being fearful is not going to help. I just got to come up with alternatives. So I'm really hoping the rotisserie chicken works because that is really, really good stuff. I, like, am in love with that chicken. That tastes like KFC grilled chicken did. Which is what scares me that it won't work. But we'll find out, right? But I really enjoyed that. So hopefully, I just, that's why I liked having the meal prep. Because I didn't have to sit around coming with quick decisions like that and risking. So next week, I'm definitely going to meal prep. I'm also going to try to sit down. We got a bunch of cookbooks. My mom has, um, got a bunch of cookbooks for her birthday on Amazon. And also, my grandma got her cookbook for Christmas. So we're going to sit down tomorrow and just look through cookbooks, come up with potential ideas that are good for, you know, my diagnosis of Crohn's and just roll with it. Try to plan out meals. I took my food to the, my grandma's party and I'm not going to lie that she was like, oh, can you not eat this? Can you not eat? I, it's really awkward when people do that. I know they're, they're just trying to help, but it makes me feel guilty because, you know, it just does. You go to someone's house and they prepare a meal. It's really weird bringing your own thing. I microwaved up my pasta chicken olive oil and I ate it at my grandma's house and that's what I had that's all I had I couldn't eat anything else I couldn't eat corn I couldn't eat coleslaw I couldn't eat you know any of that but you just gotta roll with it and that's what I did today so yeah that's all I have for today I'm gonna meal prep tomorrow so um yeah that's the plan for tomorrow I'll vlog I want to go to Walmart because I don't want to go to Walmart but I also want to do this bonus and I might even throw some Kroger in there too when I run in for the ad um, I can drive now, right? So maybe I can go somewhere and think outside the box. I, okay, for the Blizzard Bash, I only need 13 more rebates. And for the um, level 3, I only need thir or 12 more rebates. So I'm really inclined to go ahead and do it because, I don't know, I just, that'd be $7 back on 13 rebates. That's really good. Um, especially if I could put some deals together. Um on like the Johnsons, the buy hopefully the buy team is that coupon that coupon might be gone now though I used that last one. Anyways, I'm really thinking Walmart could be potentially a really good deal tomorrow if I can put rebates 
and coupons and all that stuff together as long as I still can find the coupons. I don't like the Johnsons. I have no idea. See, it looks like it's gone. I don't know. I'll have to look. I'll have to see about Walmart tomorrow. I may or may not go and hit up Walmart. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching tonight and thank you so much for watching.